How's it going guys? Your old pal Baba Ganoush here once more. So I think it's time that I start getting into the kind of gear that I'm going to be bringing on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike, starting with my big three. Let's go ahead and get into it. So okay guys, this is going to be my big three to start my Appalachian Trail through hike with. Now I will be making one major change to this set and that will be in regards to my sleeping bag. So as the seasons change over and the weather gets warmer, I will be switching out my sleeping bag to something that's a little bit more applicable to the warmer temperatures. So as I go through these items, I'll try to get you exact weights and to talk a little bit about why I chose them. So let's go ahead and dive on into it. So okay guys, this is going to be my cold weather sleeping bag and my sleeping bag of choice, the REI Magma 10 degree. This is an 850 filled down sleeping bag. It is the men's regular, so it fits up to six feet tall as I am five foot 10 and comes in at only a pound and 13 ounces. I will be putting it inside of a Sea to Summit Ultra Sill stuff sack that weighs one ounce. So combined together, this only weighs a pound and 14 ounces. So something that's rated down to 10 degrees, something that's going to keep me nice and toasty warm going through the Smokies um, and well into the spring until I change it out. I am super happy with that performance, super happy with the weight. Let's move ahead to my sleeping pad. So okay guys, so recently on a backpacking trip, my former pad, the Nemo Tensor Insulated, did spring a leak on me and rather risk it going into my through hike with a leaky pad, I decided to get a brand new one. So this might end up getting changed to something a little bit lighter weight, but for the time being, this is going to be my sleeping pad of choice, the Sea to Summit Ultralight Insulated. This is the large model, so it comes in at 25 by 78 inches long um, and comes in at 21 ounces and does give you a nice 3.3 R value. It's an incredibly comfortable pad, uh, an extremely popular pad as well. You see these everywhere. Again, it is 21 ounces. It is something I'm considering switching out for something lighter weight, but for the time being, I need a pad and this will do me just fine. So I am a big advocate for camp pillows. It just makes my sleep so much more comfortable. I've done the clothes and the stuff sack thing before. It just didn't work out. So I will be bringing a camp pillow for comfort. This is the Sea to Summit Eros pillow. Comes in at only three ounces, well worth the wait if I get a better night's sleep. Now, yes, I will be bringing a silk liner with me. I know a lot of through hikers do this, not just for a little bit of added temperature value on their sleeping bag, but also to help keep their sleeping bag a little bit cleaner, meaning that they just have to clean the liner as opposed to constantly cleaning their sleeping bag. So for four ounces, I'll be bringing the Cocoon Silk Liner. So that rounds out my sleep system. Let's go ahead and move on to my shelter system. So okay guys, for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, know that I absolutely love this tent and have seen me use it many, many times. This is my tent of choice, the Tarp Tent Notch. It is a one person ultralight tent. It comes in at only 27 ounces, so really nice and lightweight. Now it is a trekking pole tent. I'm not including the trekking poles in with the weight and that is because I'm already carrying them. And that is one of the nice things that I really like about it is in regards to the weight savings and the simplicity with the setup. Now I will be bringing one additional item and that, and that will be adding a few ounces of weight onto my shelter system. And that will be the Tyvex ground sheet. So just a simple little Tyvex ground sheet uh, I've been using it for a while. It's all cut out. It's all worn. So it's really nice and lightweight. Comes in at only four ounces just to protect the bottom of my tent a little bit better. So in total with the tent and my Tyvex ground sheet, my shelter system comes out to a nice one pound, 15 ounces. Cannot go wrong there. So now finishing off my shelter system, obviously I got to carry my entire life on my back with something. Let's go ahead and talk about my backpack of choice. So okay guys, another favorite of mine, something I've been carrying for a while, the Osprey Exos 48 liter. This is the medium size, so it is a true 48 liters. Comes in at two pounds, eight ounces. So pretty nice and lightweight. I know a pretty favorite backpack amongst through hikers 
uh, especially because it is a very supportive backpack. And as well, that back mesh panel gives you some really nice breathability, especially during those hot summer months. So, okay, guys, that finishes off my big three to start the Appalachian Trail thru-hike with. Again, this is my cold weather system. Now, the total weight for all these items that you see before you come in at a nice eight pounds, one ounce. So really nice and lightweight. I'm super happy with that. Again, strong possibility of switching out the sleeping pad to something a little bit lighter. If I do, I'll make sure to do another video on that so you can get the final weight of my big three. So let's switch out my sleeping bag, take a look at what I'll be carrying during the warm weather months and how it impacts my overall weight. So okay guys, as the season change over and the weather gets warmer, I do plan on switching out my sleeping bag to something that's a little bit more applicable to that warmer weather and a little bit lighter weight to help me stretch out some of the miles. My choice of sleeping bag during those warmer months is the Sea to Summit Spark SP2. This is a 35 degree sleeping bag. It is an 850 filled down sleeping bag. Uh, this is the regular size as well and comes in at only 16.4 ounces. Again, I will be putting that in the same Ultra Sill stuff sack. So combined weight, that is going to be a solid 17.4 ounces. So really nice and lightweight at a comfortable 35 degrees as well. Cannot go wrong there. So okay guys, that is going to be my warm weather big three right there for you. Switching out my sleeping bag does have a considerable impact on the overall weight. It drops it down to a total of seven pounds, five ounces. So really nice and lightweight, especially for the warmer weather. And again, if I do decide to switch out my sleeping pad for something a little bit lighter weight, that overall big three is just going to drop. So, okay, guys, that is going to be my big three, both for my cold weather gear as well for my warm weather gear that I'm going to be bringing with me on my upcoming Appalachian Trail through hike. As you can see, the time is getting closer. I'm getting more and more excited, and I'm getting really excited, especially to start sharing the equipment that I'm going to be bringing with you as I'm starting to finalize my checklist and come to the final determination about the equipment that I'm gonna be bringing. So thank you guys so much for following along on another great video. Be sure to subscribe down below, keep up to date with all my future videos. I have some great stuff coming out. Be sure to hit the like button, leave me a comment or a question down below. Check the links in my description, my Instagram, my blog at the Trek website. I'm super looking forward to everything that I have upcoming. Thank you guys so much. Look forward to the next video, next gear review, next adventure. Pleasure as always. Baba Ganoush out.